What's up guys, Jared here with a video I should have gotten out a couple of months ago, but you know how a movie can push things back and then new things start piling up. Uh, anyways, these are the Skull Candy Grind headphones. They're what I'd call a quality budget mid-range pair of headphones, and you'll sort of get that impression too once you get them in your hands and check out the maybe lesser than ideal quality of plastic and exposed wire, which I totally understand is for fashion, but can totally see getting snagged on something and pulling out the cable, and then you're screwed. Well, the metal headband's not only extremely comfortable to wear, partly because of all the cheaper materials giving it an extremely light weight, and of course the soft cushioning, but it's also extremely durable, giving you the ability to stretch it out to almost 180 degrees without breaking. So go ahead and throw it in your backpack, be rough with it, just don't drop it, you'll probably crack that plastic housing. Now my only gripe about the headband is the free slide adjustment. Now this is purely subjective, but for me at least, unless it clicks and locks in a position, I find that both sides of the band will move over time, creating the need to readjust for a proper fit more often than with a click lock mechanism. And just like the headband, the ear cups are super comfortable, but while they do an okay job of keeping sounds out, they sort of do a poor job of keeping sounds in. So if you happen to take public transit or find yourself in a quiet room with these headphones on, have a look around. People probably won't be looking too happy at you. Now, as far as the overall design goes, again, this is pretty much subjective. Um, I think it looks sharp. Uh, I personally prefer flatter profile over the head headphones that don't draw a lot of attention. And I think these have hit pretty close to that mark for me, though still a little bit too flashy for my personal taste. Now, when it comes to functionality, aside from its obvious purpose of listening to music, uh, it also has a built-in microphone on the left ear cup. Now, testing this in calls, I was told that I sounded clear, but slightly tinny, as expected. And still on the left ear cup, but on the other side, we've got a multi-function button. Now, pressing once allows you to either end or answer a call or play and pause your music. Uh, double pressing skips to the next song and triple pressing skips back to the previous song. And finally, when it comes to audio quality, I'd have to say they performed pretty much as I'd expect them to, like a $60 pair of headphones should. Uh, the audio is clear and loud, but if bass is what you're after, then you'll either need to keep on looking for something else or up your headphones budget. But the lows do perform adequately. Um, the highs are also really nothing more than satisfactory. Uh, but where I'd say its strength lies is with the mids, where vocals really punch through. For 60 bucks, you could do a lot worse than the Skull Candy Grind headphones, and I think for most applications, these will do just fine, especially if you find that you go through more expensive headphones often enough to compromise on a little bit of audio quality for a lower price to offset the cost of constant replacements. But if you're like me and take care of your gear, throw down an extra maybe 50 bucks and you'll find yourself in a pair of Audio-Technica ATH-M50s before you know it. Anyways, if you're thinking these might be the right guys for you, there's several different colors to choose from, so I'll have a link for pricing and availability in the description down below. But hey, thanks as always for watching and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Cheers.